Marvelous. Here we go, dude. Uh, first of all, your blues lick, okay? You have a G in your pinky and a D on your second finger. And the, the lick goes... So it's G, E, D, B, G. And then your left hand plays the octave. So when you pair that with the D at the outset, you get the double stop. And the setup is the broken E octave like this. So you do that after, in the fourth repetition, you start your intro and you go, right here. Okay, then you're on the first verse. Your left hand stays exactly where it is. Right hand plays E6-3, G sharp, B, and E. Listen to the wind, A5-3. Now this you didn't quite get right the first time around. Um, what you want to do is play D6-4, A, D, F sharp with an octave in the left. Then move it down to C6-4, G, C, E. Then immediately to G5-3, G, B, D with a single bass note, G in the left hand. And you land on the second part of your riff. Again, so we got... Sorry. Listen to the wind blow. A minor 5 3, A C E. Okay, you repeat that. Then you go to E minor 6 3, G B E. Up to the same a C chord from before, G C E. And then up to the same D chord from before, A D F sharp. Quarter notes. Love the now. Again, A minor. Never love. Okay, E minor. Still to C. To D sharp. I mean, to. Perfect fifth on E, octave on E, no, perfect fifth on A, excuse me, octave on E, octave on C, and octave on D. Here's your rhythm for the chorus. Your left hand fills in the thumb on the off beats, one and two. E minor, C, D, one and two and three, and a four and a one. Verse. Rolling on the side. 